Hey guys, it's me, Drew, and it's time. I went to the semi-annual sale, and I know you guys are probably waiting for this video, but today was my first day off. I was busy working retail, working through the holidays. I didn't really have time to go to the store until today. I did go the first day because I do work in the mall on my break. Got a couple things, but it wasn't enough things to warrant a haul. It's enough to warrant a haul now. Let's start with some really, really exciting items. Now, there are no semi-annual sale candles in this haul. I strictly got body care, and that was kind of the point because I'm really saving my candle money for the new candles. There's a little sneak peek of that at the end. But anyway, the first thing I picked up was True Blue Spa. I did get this on the first day of semi-annual sale. Guys, I don't know why they ever got rid of True Blue Spa. It's an amazing line. It feels great. It functions well. Everything about it is so good. And, like, they're selling out of it so fast. So I picked up the Shea Butter Super Rich Body Cream. And this is in the collection Lay It On Thick. If you can see, this cream does not come out of the tube unless you force it. I always love this formula since I was, um... A wee boy. Since I was a little kid, I always liked this formula. It's rich. It's nourishing. It really is awesome after you do like a deep exfoliation. The one product I'm surprised didn't come back from this was the Body Buff. If you remember, it was like a exfoliating body wash that was like, your skin literally felt like you left a spa. Topped with this perfection, but I love this stuff. There's shea butter, macadamia nut oil, vitamin E. It's hydrating. It's nourishing. They had vanilla, almond, and pomegranate, but I just opted with the unscented because it goes with everything, and especially in the winter months when you want that deep hydration, I put my own perfume on so I didn't feel the need to pick up one with scent, so I just picked up the regular one. These were $20.50, and they were half off, so $10.25. You can't beat that for a 10-ounce big tube of rich body cream. It's out of this world. Sticking with True Blue Spa goodness, I also picked up the infamous Mango Butter. This stuff to you guys. It's so rich, but it's a different form of hydration than the body butter. It has this, like, bounce to it. It's very sponge-like, and the mango scent is so comforting. I actually really like to use this as a foot cream. I find that it has a really nice slip to it. The mango butter is actually really protecting and restoring to the skin. So with that dry, dead, cracked heels and feet, putting this um, mango butter on at night really seals the moisture. It gives you that nice slip so you can really get like a deep massage, especially working a hard day. Really nice to keep this by your bedside table and just slather this on your feet. If you're a type of person who can wear cotton socks to bed, you go, but I can't. So, I mean, I just wash my sheets every week like most people. <laughs> so, I just pop this on my feet every night before bed. It's great. Like I said, it's hydrating. Let's see what else is in here. There's mango butter, coconut oil, shea butter, rose oil. Is that rose oil? No, beetroot extract, sunflower seed oil, murumuru seed butter, aloe, licorice root extract. There's a lot of really, really good ingredients in the True Blue Spa line, so I'm really, I'm happy, and I hope that because this is selling out so fast, BBW realizes that people really like this line and bring it out all the time because it is out of this world. And this was $16.50, so $8.25, you can't beat it. Also in the True Blue Spa line, I picked up the 60 Second Manicure Hand Scrub and the Paraffin Super Softening Hand Lotion. I love a hand scrub. And yeah, hand scrubs are different than body scrubs because most hand scrubs that you buy in a store are like so gritty. Like you would never use this on your entire body. But especially right now with your hands working super hard, you really need that really great exfoliation once a week even twice a week, especially now, to really comfort the hands, really sloth away all that dead skin, revitalize it, refresh it, and the scent of this, it's like, 
zesty grapefruit, lemon, orange, really citrusy. And then once you use this paired with the paraffin hand lotion, again, do this before bed once or twice a week, this hand lotion just seals in the moisture and it does have an airless pump which i like so you're going to be able to get every last drop out of it but the second you put this hand lotion on there's not really a scent to it it mirrors the scent of this so it's just really like citrusy uplifting bright but if you want your hands to feel like you literally got out of the spa this combination is seriously out of this world and it's just great like i said with covid and washing your hands so much really try a hand scrub i know these are like selling out crazy in the stores no store i went to four different stores today not one store had this hand scrub in stock so that just tells you how much people love it and same with the hand lotion literally saw this on the first day haven't seen it yet and i don't know if it's still available online if it is definitely pick it up this was $14.50 and this was $18.50, so half off. Really great values. True Blue Spa, really, really, really great product. A few random items that I picked up. The Hyaluronic Acid Hydrating Body Cream. This was part of that water line that I never really got into. I wasn't shopping at BBW regularly when this came out, but I love hyaluronic acid as an ingredient, especially in your body. Essentially, hyaluronic acid can hold 1,000 times its weight in water, so that's really going to plump up the skin underneath, really keep you soft all day. If you have dehydrated, dry, cracked skin, give your skin a great exfoliation and slather it with this because the hyaluronic acid is going to lock in that moisture. And I think the packaging is really cute. Looks a lot more high-end for Bath & Body Works. And this was 75% off. So instead of $15.50, I think it was like $4, if that. Great values. I'm telling you, so my annual sale this year is killing it. It's killing it because it's so much spring stuff. They had so much spring stuff because with the lockdown, they had all the stuff they couldn't sell. And when they reopened up, it was time for fall. So all that stuff just went to the wayside. So they're really trying to get rid of it now at a cheap price. And the water cream is awesome. And if you know, water creams are like all the rage in facial care. So if you put it in body care, it's just as awesome. And it has that really minerally rich, citrusy water fragrance. It's definitely unisex. I don't feel like a man would be like, mm, that smells weird. I don't like it. It smells girly. Not that gender roles really matter. But yeah, I like the hydrating body cream and the hyaluronic acid. I did want the body polishes and stuff, but they didn't have them. That's all I could find in my stores. Pittsburgh must really be dehydrated. The next thing that I got was the Coco Shea Honey Moisturizing Body Wash. I think I've gone on and on and on this whole holiday season on how much I love the Moisturizing Body Wash formula. And I've heard people rant and rave about Coco Shea, and I love honey scents. I love the scent of honey. A lot of people can take it or leave it. Me, I love it. And it does, it has that raw, really nature-y scent of honey to it that I just love. It's very neutral. Again, I feel like just having this in your shower can do wonders. And honey is antibacterial. There's cocoa butter, shea butter. Again, great all year. These don't really work well as a body, as a bubble bath like the shower gels do, but these definitely Hydrate, moisturizes after just one shower, gently cleanses skin, luxurious, nourishing lather. And shea butter is like the third ingredient on the list, which is really great. And this was also, was this 70% off or 50? And I don't remember, but either way, $14.50, so it was $7.25 at the cheap, at the most expensive, which, I mean, come on, it has a little crown and a bee. I'm partial to bees. I love honeybees and I love everything with honey and the packaging super cute so really exciting to pick this up as well another random item that I found in my store strawberry pound cake shout out to Bonnie if she's watching this guys I love the candle I never tried the body line I wasn't into Bath and Body Works 
when Strawberry Pound Cake came out. This was also 75% off. It smells, my coworker, I literally went on my break, slathered myself, my arms with this out when I got into the store. I didn't tell her what I put on. I was like working and through our masks, she was like, it smells like strawberry shortcake. Yes, it's the strawberry pound cake. It's so yummy, you guys. It's so good. It's so good. If I recommend one scent that you can find at semi-annual sale, strawberry pound cake. And the packaging, I mean, the scent you could use all year long. I mean, you can eat strawberries 24-7 if you want. Strawberries are one of my favorite fruits to smell. I love all things strawberry. A little teaser for what's coming up next. Love Love strawberry. I love strawberry. I love strawberry. Did I say I love strawberry? No, I said I love strawberry. I love strawberry. One, two, three, four, five bottles of strawberry shower gel. What does strawberry shower gel smell like? Let me make sure that none of those burst open. One did, but that's okay. <laughs> That'll go in my shower. <sighs> this line, I feel like everybody, everybody who talks about this line is like, I don't know what the line really was. There were strawberry and blueberry, and that's it. Strawberry, blueberry. And it smells like strawberry, blueberry. This legit smells like you just chopped up a bowl of strawberries and stuck your nose into it. Not bakery, not candy, just fruity, fresh strawberry. I have it in the moisturizing body wash, but this is the shower gel. These were $3. You can't even get a shower gel at the drugstore for $3, you guys. It smells so good. I mean, again, legit, never have smelled a strawberry scent like this. It's just perfection. It has to be hands down one of my favorite scents Bath & Body Works has ever done. It smells like old school Bath & Body Works. The packaging is super clean. Like, I picture a crisp white bathroom with just this on it. You know how like they stage product and it just looks so clean and fresh? It just, the holy grail. Strawberry shower gel. I don't know, this scent needs to come in a candle. I think they could do so much packaging wise with it. Love it. If I'm in the stores this week and I see more of it, I'm stocking up. I literally could have a drawer full of it and never get sick of it. And that's a scent you could always use. I think I'm going to take a strawberry bubble bath tonight. Doesn't that sound like a good idea? Sounds like a good idea to me. As much as I love strawberry scents, I also love lemon. So when I heard there was a scent lemon drop martini, I needed to be... I need to calm down. When I saw there was Lemon Drop Martini, and somebody said it smelled like the summer vanillas from years ago, there was like lemon vanilla, cherry vanilla, berry vanilla, apricot vanilla, coconut vanilla, get out of here with that, but lemon vanilla was my favorite, so when I heard this smells just like the summer vanillas, lemon vanilla, I was all over it. The first store I went to, the second store I went to, the third store I went to only had the body cream. Shout out to Monroeville in Pittsburgh for having the body cream, the shower gel, and that fine fragrance, Miss Baby. And I only picked up one because everybody knows these last forever. And it's alcohol, so it does last forever. This scent. Every hour is happy hour. Keynotes of lemon zest, sugar cane, and sweet cream. It's lemon vanilla from back in the day. It literally instantly took me back to the lemon vanilla days of 1950 candles, two for 20, third one was $10, three for 20, or three for 30, 10 off 30 survey coupon, 2140 after tax. When brand new scents came out and there was only a little bottle for a dollar at the register, who remembers those old days like me? Yes, summer vanilla in a jar for $4.95. I cannot wait to smell like lemon vanilla all summer long. It's exactly lemon vanilla from back in the day, and I am so happy that was one of my favorite scents. Isn't it interesting how, 
Like, you can like a lot of different scents, but when you smell a scent and you're like, yes, that is me in a scent, that's my signature scent. Like, I've had brown hair my whole life. I went blonde this year. I thought I was going to be a blondie, and that was my look. And then Ex Mondo Purple. I got so many compliments on this hair, you guys. I love this hair. And I'm rocking it, and there's nothing wrong with it. Anyway, I digress. Bubbly Rosé, the last store I went to, again, shout out to Robinson, Robinson Mall in the West Virginia District, Bubbly Rosé. Look at this lid, look at this holographic label, pink sparkling rosé, sweet blood orange, and a splash of cranberry juice. Yes, 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 this is fruity. It actually smells like a glass of rosé. Really cold, really big glass, freshly poured on a summer day, sitting by the pool. I was going to say the fire, but there's no fires when you're in August. It's so good. I paid full price for it. It was hard, but I did, because it was sitting here. They had this, they had whipped coffee, and they had coconut cream pie. Oh, and champagne toast. Why does champagne toast come in everything? But anyway, Bubbly Rosé, so happy to have it, and it's so, so good. So good. Oh, I'm so happy to have this. I think I'm actually going to take a strawberry bath and light this guy up and get it going and juicy and fun and fresh. But anyway... That was a huge video, not really huge. There's a lot of stuff that I got. I'm excited to put it all away. Let me know if you guys got anything from semi-annual sale. I hope you guys had a great holiday, are going to have a really safe, socially distant new year, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.